Welcome to the History Lord channel. You join me here once again in Golden Square, Soho. We're going to be talking about St George's the Martyr Clock. Welcome to London. St George the Martyr Church has a long historic association with Borough and it's now a Grade 2 star listed building. The church has a very strong association with Charles Dickens whose father was imprisoned for debt just across the road in Marshalsea Prison, surviving wall of which adjoins the north side of the old churchyard. Dickens himself lived nearby in Lant Street. He lodged in a house that belonged to the vestry clerk of St George's. And this was during his darkest period of his life when as a teenager his father was in prison he had to work in a blackening factory and his literary career seemed to be a, an impossible dream at the time. Later he was to set several scenes from his novel Little Dorrit in and around St George's Church and indeed there's a small representation of Little Dorrit in the east window. But it's the clock tower that we are interested in today. At first glance the clock tower at St George's the Martyr looks like any other church tower but look closely at the dials facing east and you'll notice it differs from the other three. The other three clocks have white faces and are illuminated at night whereas this one has a black face and isn't illuminated. Why is that? Well the honest reason is nobody can be a hundred percent certain but the most popular story has to do with the church rebuilding which took place between 1734 and 1736. Local residents were asked to contribute financially towards a new church and those who were living in each of the surrounding districts dug deep into their pocket to pay for the construction. With the exception, the rather notable exception, of the people to the east in Bermondsey. There were several explanations of why the good folk of Bermondsey either didn't want to pay or were unwilling to support the rebuilding. Some say they were too poor, some say they were just non-believers and dissenters, and some say they were actually too mean to dip into their pockets. Whatever the reason, it was decided that St George's literally had no time for the people of Bermondsey. And that's why when the clock face was replaced on the east, it was actually coloured black and was unilluminated as a timely reproach to the residents of Bermondsey. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please subscribe to the channel. And why not give us a share while you're at it? That's rather fun as well. And if you want to see when videos are uploaded, then there's a little notification bell just below. If you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then please go to historylord.co.uk and see about the walking tour of London. Or have a look down in the description below and see about you, James's YouTube channel, which is Last Line Films. He also does podcasts as well. Very good, you know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Take care.